my sweet chocolate kisses. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Drew and I am a model. I am a hand model. I love life. I love smiles and I love you guys. So I hope you're all having a happy day. Like why? I mean, you woke up this morning, so that's already a blessing. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? And you're spending time with me, which is a bonus. So as you saw in that photo, we have a St. Patrick's Day design today. And um, by the way, don't forget to check the description because I always have something special written down there. I have a St. Patrick's Day design for you guys. It's super glittery, super festive for St. Patrick's Day. I absolutely love it. Um, the glitter gradient and everything is super chic. It has some shamrocks. It's just perfect for St. Patrick's Day. So if I had worn this closer to St. Patrick's Day, I could have been like, you can't say I didn't wear green. You really can't say I didn't wear green, you guys. But you know, I don't think I'm going to have my nails painted green for St. Patrick's Day this year. But it's all Gucci. It's all good. So what I'm doing now is I'm just painting on my base coat and you guys have heard me talk about this base coat, that base coat, every single kind of base coat that I come across that I like usually like. I love gels, gel base coats are really nice. Not gel that you have to cure, but like gel that's a polish. Those are my favorite kinds of base coats. And this is a Nika K gel base coat and um, I really love it because it thickens my nails. I have another one by LA Girl that I really like, but um, it depends on what site I'm ordering from. You know what? I just will like give you guys the real tea. Whenever I find a base coat that I really like, I will test it and then I will tell you that I'm in love with it after I've had it, used it for like a prolonged period of time. There we go, there we go. So I'm just gonna do my thumb now. And I actually am so excited for St. Patrick's Day. I just love the holidays, but I think one reason that I'm so excited, well, St. Patrick's Day is not really a holiday, but you know, it's getting closer to the warm weather. I mean, over here where I live, it's just been on and off. You guys have heard me say that. On and off, hot and cold, hot and cold weather. And I'm really sick of it. I'm always going back and forth between which season is my favorite, but I am ready for spring and summer now. So next we're gonna do paint my nails. This is a gold chrome polish called Gold Digger. And um, I love this polish, it's by LA Girl. And when I saw that I had this in my collection, actually when I thought about it, I was like, this would be perfect for this design because it's very like, you know, um, pearlescent and it has like a metallic sheen to it, you know what I mean? So I was like, oh my God. And I see that Hollow Taco has some like chrome polishes out right now that looks super, super stunning that I really like really want to try. So I can't wait to get my hands on those if I can, you guys. But these are by LA Girl and I've had, they have like um, different colors of these. I've had them, I think I own the entire collection actually. And I've had them for quite some time now, years and years. That collection has been out for a long time and I keep them in my special, stash because I don't like to use them just to paint my nails. I like to use them for nail art. So what better time than for right now? I'm so happy I thought about using this. So we're just gonna paint that on my nails. And as you can see, it's a little sheer on certain areas. That's only because my nails are pretty long. I mean, you can't beat the price of these. I think they're like four or five dollars. So I'm not even complaining. And now we're gonna do a second coat gonna do a second coat and then I'm just going to kind of put because that second coat it really wasn't having it either with my nails so I'm just gonna paint on some of the places that have bald patches I'm just gonna go over those just a little and there we have it there's our base color this beautiful gold and next, these are the two glitter polishes that I'm gonna be using for the gradient and everything for our glittery St. Patrick's Day design. This is a shimmer gold, shimmer gold, shimmer green polish called Green Glitz, and this is by Jordana Cosmetics. You know, guys, you've heard me talk about this company. And this, I think this is by um, Paparazzi, yes, Paparazzi CBS brand. So here we have it, and it's a chunky glitter. 
and it's called never too rich and that's totally correct you are never too rich in my opinion and so we're gonna take first i'm gonna show you my brush this is the one i'm using you guys know i love dual ended stuff this has a dotting tool at the end but we're not going to use the dotting tool we're just going to use the brush and this green glitter here this fine shimmer glitter here um, is going to be the first part of our green st patrick's day gradient and it's by jordana like i said if you've heard me talk about them before they're they went out of business about three years ago they were my favorite nail polish brand and i have to say they were probably up there maybe my first or second makeup brand so you know it's okay i'm gonna run out soon of all my products that i have by them but you know i found some alternatives from other brands so it's all good not for everything but for some things the polishes is what i'm most upset about but it's all good so we're just gonna paint that on all my nails only at the base of the nail kind of not even towards the center just a little bit below the center of each nail could have gone a little lower actually and then we're gonna put some of that same green glitter on my palette here and i'm gonna take my brush and i'm going to kind of streak it out a bit to make it look more faded we don't want it i i didn't want to use a sponge because that would have made it look like you know just more packed together i wanted it to be more separated and dispersed and more fine and faded towards the um tip so so i'm using my paintbrush my nail art brush here okay here we have that looking good looking good looking good and next we're going to use this chunky green glitter it's kind of holographic too which i kind of loved i wish i could have found one that wasn't holographic but this is just as good you guys i'm not complaining i'm not complaining this is just as good if not better because glitter and hollow is always the best for any manicure so i'm sure i'm like i'm so happy because this took it off took it up a notch so i'm just gonna put some little dollops on random areas not going over anywhere that doesn't have any glitter just kind of want to amp up the places that do have glitter a little more I'm just gonna do one little right here kind of like an accent put one up here where the gold is that was the only exception you are the only exception okay <laughs> i'm done yeah so we're just gonna put more green glitter here on my pointer finger and that's it you guys next step next step next step now we're gonna take this green acrylic paint and I'm going to put it on my palette and I don't know when this is gonna be uploaded maybe st. Patrick's Day or maybe tomorrow because I'm making this voiceover a couple days before st. Patrick's Day so and then I'm gonna draw some hearts that are kind of gonna be like shamrocks. I mean, shamrocks and art are kind of like, you know, heart shaped. I mean, what are shamrocks? Four hearts, three hearts, two hearts glued together, in my opinion. So this looks perfect. And since there's so much green and they're in green, you can totally tell what I'm going for here. I'm making a shamrock. So here we go. Just gonna draw it on the tip of my middle fingernail here. Gonna kind of perfect it a little bit. The sides and everything, make sure it's nice and even on either side of the hump of the heart. Perfect the sides. Fill it in. Looking so good. And then gonna make it ooh look how nice and crisp that was just looking so good now I got to even out the other side look how nice that looks you guys ooh. perfect 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 all right there we have it, our heart. And now I'm gonna move on to my 
ring finger and I'm gonna draw some more hearts but they're going to be hollow so I had to be really careful with this step because I didn't want them to be accidentally filled in I mean I could have gone over them with gold again if I had accidentally done that but of course I'm lazy and I don't want to keep going over mistakes so I tried to be as careful as possible so you can see I just did a little heart there and I feel like if this gold base was just a little bit lighter or more sheer or if the green base was more um, dark this would have popped up more maybe even if I had done the glitter a little bit more down rather than towards the tip of the nail so the hearts had more love more time to shine that would have been even better but it still looks good and I love how it looks in the photos so that's really all that matters I mean I'm full of ideas you guys full of ideas full of ideas so I never run out of ideas and I'm always changing my nails so it didn't really matter to me as long as you guys were entertained by it that's what I absolutely love was loving 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 hoping for so now I'm doing another heart as you can see another hollow heart at the tip of my ring finger and I was just kind of playing around with this. You guys know I love to play around with it. Just figure out, hmm, where should this go? Hmm, where should that go? I don't know. Did I think about it before? I can't remember. But we're going to go with it because an artist always improvises, knows when to stop, when to start, when to add something on. So I'm just adding another hollow heart here. The side kind of like at an, um, an angle on my pointer finger. And then I'm just going to perfect that just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, perfecting. I'm glad I made this real time, actually. I want you guys to see that it takes patience to perfect things sometimes, but I love painting my nails. And I think these real-time sorts of things are really entertaining. So, just going to do the side. Anytime I get, like, do hollow things at the side of my nail, I'm always thinking, should I give it, like, a little line at the end, you know, like, at the edge, or keep it open? I don't know if you guys know what I'm saying. But sometimes I'm still figuring that out. Okay, so next I'm going to take this other green. And did I need the screen? Did I need the screen? Did I need the screen? Yes, I needed the green Drusilla because that's my name, Drusilla. Drusilla because like that green is what I chose and I thought it would look really nice over the lighter green. I thought it would look really nice. Kind of give it a highlight. I can't even see the highlight, but you know, it's, it's something, it's something. And you know what the photos you can even see it so like I said it doesn't even matter draw some more hollow hearts on my ring finger kind of highlight the current ones a little bit make it look nice and good I'm gonna highlight am I gonna highlight yes gonna or we can draw another one. That's good too. Draw another one. Like I said, we're just going with it and look how fabulous this looks already. And now I'm gonna take this gold acrylic paint called Splendid Gold. This is my favorite gold acrylic paint. I use it for all my nail art designs. If you guys have been watching my channel, you already know that. And I'm just going to outline my heart here my shamrock whatever you want to call it my clover just to make it pop and oh my god look i this was a good idea you guys i'm so happy i did this because look you're gonna see that actually brought this whole design together like it brought it together because it made the shamrock pop like i couldn't even see it was there before and then i added the gold outline and then it totally came to life you guys I'm so happy so we're just going to kind of perfect it I had a little glob of glitter right here 
um, and it was kind of getting in the way of the crisp edge of the line so I had to kind of be careful there and then I'm just going to do the sides like I said I don't know if I'm gonna wear green for St. Patrick's Day um, I don't really have anything green in my wardrobe but nails is already is like always an excuse you guys but you know I don't know if I'm gonna have my nails green either but that's okay don't pinch me you guys don't pinch me and then I'm just gonna perfect the lines just a teeny bit looking so good make it a nice crisp edge so I don't have to make the acrylic paint all bumpy if I have to go over it again with the green to fix any mistakes and then we're just gonna fix that up. We're 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 gonna fix that up. Do do do. We're gonna fix that up. Fix that up. We're gonna fix that up. Okay. Okay. Fixing that up. I'm still happy I made this real time. I'm exceptionally happy. Very precise. All right, and that's it, you guys. And then I'm going to kind of make a gold shamrock heart right here at the side of my ring finger nail. Make that look nice and pretty full. Looking so good. And then we're gonna fix that up. So pretty. Make sure you tell me if you celebrate St. Patrick's Day in the comments. And if you're gonna be wearing green, what are you gonna do? At least buy a shamrock shake. <laughs> Sorry. Buy a shamrock shake, carry it around with you. Be like, oh, I'm not wearing green, am I? Yes, I am. I have this green shamrock shake from McDonald's or make your own. Buy a cupcake that's green. Do something, you guys, to be happy on St. Patrick's Day. Because I know I'm probably just going to buy a shamrock shake. So now I'm just going to draw another gold heart right here. It's looking really good. All right that up looks so beautiful and I'm just gonna assess my nails here look how long and elegant they look in this shot oh my god don't they look nice here Ooh, so pretty yeah all right and then this is a last minute decision I just kind of drew like a little mini border not even a border just like a border accent at the base of my middle fingernail just to kind of give it more um, you know, attitude for this design. I thought it was a little plain. I mean, yeah, even at this stage, I thought this manicure was plain and bare. So I thought this was a good step. I think it brought it together. Maybe I could have made it a little thicker, but hey, girl, what are we talking about? Like, this manicure is perfect because I made it. It's like, what whatevs, you know what I mean? What whatevs, what whatevs, whatevs. So it looks so good, just gonna perfect that can see you don't want it to be too thick at the sides you don't want it to be thin at the sides just gonna fix that up looking so good just gonna all right, all right so that looks good enough to me pretty good there we have it. Woo! Next, we're gonna do top coat. This is my, I know what I said in the beginning, I've had some trial and error with these new LA Colors top coats I've been trying. And I can safely say, safely, safely say, that this is my favorite top coat. So I'm just gonna put this on. This is the Gel Shine Top Coat by LA Colors. Just gonna. 
and then we have it there we have it there we have it so beautiful that's it you guys here are my swatch photos so beautiful like i said you can really see all the character of this design in the sunlight so i'm not mad at it at all so beautiful perfect for saint patrick's day and i'm so happy that i got this done for saint patrick's day i kind of thought i might not do one this year like a saint patrick's day design but i did one Woo! so i'm so happy don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love you guys so much don't forget to tell me what you're doing for St. Patrick's Day. Just talk to me. Tell me how life's going. I love reading your comments and hearing from you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.